Hello, today I'm going to show you how to set up your Power BI reports for your DBA reports module. Once you've downloaded the zip, you'll find a folder called Samples with a folder called Reports in it and some Power BI reports. Here are some sample PBIX files that you can open in Power BI Desktop. As you can see, when you click on them, they're interactive and the data will change. So you can filter it, say, by the production environment. And then by the C50,000 boxes that are in there. And you'll get some details about which edition they are, uh, where they're located, and how many servers and instances you've got. Once you've done that, you might like to put it into PowerBI.com. And you can do this either using the Power BI PowerShell module from DevScope, specifically the Power BIP or Power BI PS module. Alternatively, you can simply click on the publish button and publish once you've signed in with your Power BI report. That will create you a data set and your report and as you can see it will behave in exactly the same way as it does on the desktop client. When you have some visualizations that you might wish to uh, pin to a dashboard you simply click this pin button here and you can pin it to an existing dashboard or you can create a new dashboard. With the dashboard, with your visualizations pinned, you can click on the share button and share it with any of your colleagues or people that you wish to have access to this data. You've also got questions up here, so you could ask questions such as, what are the servers and instances by location? And as you see, it changes as you type. If we go for it as a table, it comes up just like that. Or maybe we'd like to say in Bolton. Which has come up with a, a graph for us. The other thing that you should do is click on this settings button up here and go to your data sets and if you pick your data set you can enable your QA for Cortana. This means that you can do things like this. Which location for client for the Eagles? As you can see, Cortana has found the uh, Cortana page that I created in the Power BI report, given us the information and also a link to show more details in Power BI. So we can ask questions like, which clients in location Bolton? As you can see, it's picked up the information that you've asked for. You can also do things like servers by version, location, Bolton. Or even which servers are version SQL 2000?
as you can see, Cortana isn't completely perfect, and there are times when it doesn't always work. Let's try that again. Which servers are version SQL 2000? And again, she hasn't picked up what I wanted. So I'll try one more time. Which servers are version SQL 2000? So as you can see, Cortana has managed to pick up the report that we wanted, although it took us a couple of goes. Hopefully that has helped you to get Power BI into the cloud and to use Cortana for your DBA reports.